Good night, Mr. Jones. Obviously, from its title, probably hints at the fact that I've written this like tribute to David Bowie. Um, you know, I think Elton John wrote one about John Lennon, and uh, I mean, loads of people have written tributes about lost musicians. And for me, Bowie was like the king of them all. You know, he was, as a solo artist, he was the guy that he set the trend. He was an enormous part of, of what I was listening to as a child. Um, I followed his career from the first time I heard him and right up until his death, you know, and I thought that the album Black Star was a very poignant album. It, it, when you write an album and you know you're dying, it, all, the, all the rules are off, you know, you can do anything you want, you know, you just say what you think, you know, you're not trying to impress people, you're just putting across how you are at that moment in time and he was dying and it's, you can hear it in the songwriting. And I wanted to do something that wasn't sappy, but um, paid tribute to how much he meant to me. So I kind of, it's a pastiche to, to be quite honest, really. There's a lot musically, I wanted to try and rewrite like, a, or at least have it, the flavor of it lean towards something like Life on Mars. Um, lyrically, I was gonna just name check and, you know, name drop a few song titles and, and little situations throughout his career into the lyric. But I was, you know, I, the chorus really had to, it had to stand up because I didn't want to take it all the way to the chorus with this like references to songs like Space Oddity or Station to Stage and, and things like that and then get the chorus and it not go anywhere. And once I had Goodnight Mr. Jones, it just hit me one day and I just thought, you know, the, the stars have your spirit, the earth has your flesh and your bones. I went, oh, thank God Jones rhymes with bones, you know. Um, and it worked really well. It's in a nice low key, so it, you can really emote. It's not all about trying to hit these high notes. It's just about singing them really well. Um, and Paul Gearing, God bless him, pulled out one of the best guitar solos on that song that I've ever heard. And when I said to him, I, you know what I want, Paul, you've got to channel Mick Ronson here. And he said, you don't even have to ask. So, you know, the whole band pulled it off on every song, but on that one specifically, I think they all got the vision. So it just became very easy and natural for all of us.